Welcome to this series where we are playing the Soviet Revolution campaign for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In the last part, the focus was very much on the uh, construction industry. In the, at the end of the last video, we built this um, road crew here. And we've also built this uh, kind of uh, main construction office here. We haven't used them yet. They're all nice and bright and shiny. And we also built a brick factory out here. And to support that, we've uh, put out a full-blown coal industry here, which is coming along quite nicely. And the so so in the, so in this part, what we're going to do is carry on and follow the instructions. We've got to build an asphalt plant and a concrete plant, which we're going to build over here because we've got this nice gravel storage with multiple connections. If I click on here. And click here you see we've got loads and loads of different connections coming out here and i think the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put in uh i'll put in something coming out about there i want to keep the the actual construction it's going to put keep the game paused at the moment because i want to make sure i can get that road link out yeah we can um trouble is we've got this didn't work come there i've got to start trying to become a little bit more economic now because we're down to just over five million so we do need to be aware of what we're actually doing but i've got this area here now the reason i put this dual terminal in is that i would like to put in a truck loading bay and we'll put it there because we obviously want to load gravel and then the next thing we're going to need is an asphalt plant. And I think that will work. We put the asphalt plant off of there. I'm not getting any fill for power though, so we're gonna have to be gonna have to work on some power. And then we need a concrete plant, uh, which we can probably put in about put it in a just tuck it in about there but we need but we need to make sure we put a road in and get a road out there right because what i want to do is i know i'm really messing these highways up but uh, i'm gonna come across like that next to there next to you to there It looks like we've got a bit of why well, we've got some contour here okay obviously got a bit of a problem there get rid of that let this build <laughs> right, we've got this here it's going to say without a power supply but that's no problem because we've got that area there we'll start working on the power supply straight away uh, kind of my instinct is to put the power supply down around here so actually we could put it up now I don't want to obstruct those I think we'll put the power supply down here and I think we're going to go underground it's going to be a bit of a risk we may overload it the reason i'm going underground is that we may i may want to build some bits and pieces out of here right i can put set up the auto purchase for the cement Of course, we're going to need the auto purchase for bitumen, which is going to be. Now we do need to get a workforce in here. Now we could put a road here, but I don't. I want to keep this open in case I want to put a cement plant in, because we do need to watch our costs now. My, I think what we will do is we'll put in a bus stop here. 
mean, I could tuck it in there, but uh, I think we'll just put the bus stop here. And then what means what we're going to have to do then is bring in a workforce. The other thing we're also going to need, to come to think of it, I just remembered, is we need water. <laughs> Now, the water supply doesn't need to be anything special, so uh, we could bring the water in from down here, but I'm not. This what we got is this. Uh, this is a small water well. We could pick up the water using this surface outflow, but I don't know if it actually needs power. We could put that in down around here, but I think it might be easier just to put in a. A small, we put a small water well in there. Actually, we could probably put it there off the road because it won't need a. What connections we got? We've got two connections, haven't we? So, put you just there, and then we need a. We're only going to need a small pump for this, I think. Just tuck the pump in there now when you run water to a concrete plant the quality isn't important because if you look here you'll see the qu required water quality is 55% so all we need now is some workers unemployment too high yet I'm, I know that because Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, we need to do some work about getting some industry in here. Uh, let's get back to here. I put a depot in here somewhere. Where's the, where's the depot? There it is over there. Um, I mean, the workforce we're going to need for here is pretty small. So I think we can get away with just a couple of minibuses again. So bus uh, speed again. I think if we get a couple of eight seaters, start with two. You can pick up from there and you can We've got a potential problem over here, but I can fix it. So, oh, we need another road connection just there. Then we just pick you up. You pick here. Now we'll just put line separation in, and then what we should then have is an operational base here. Okay, while that's going on, I just want to do a quick check of my research. The moment we're researching fire prevention there, and over here. We are, should be researching bitumen. Yep, uh, so we've got that going. Now, while all this is going, what I want to do is take a look at sorting this area out here because we are, we need, oops, need economy. We are, we're exporting oil and fuel power. I do wonder whether I can increase that exportation of power a bit. Um, maybe we can make a bit more money that way because what I'm looking to do now is starting to try and balance the economy uh, let's put so maybe we'll sell 60% I don't think the power station is overloaded and the th so let's just check Yeah, I mean, we're up to 13.25 megawatts, so we're okay. Now, 
what I would like to do is put in a rail distribution office. The problem is it's going to be a little bit messy. I'm thinking actually is if I could put in a line off of here because this is only going to the depot so say for example we've got a break here I could get off to remove the signals here go back to here go around like that And then we're going to put in a... Comrade, let's set up construction offices. You can use warehouses to store and supply your materials for construction offices. Or you can set a customs house as a source building. Using a customs house means buying resources instead of using your own, which can only be costly for all our, our workforce. A bus stop is recommended, but you can also bring in foreign workers from the customs shed. However, remember to imp imported workers will cost more. Okay. Uh, sources on for construction office set uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to start with the road crew uh, because of course I was expecting this I'm not sure if this will work we may have to kind of because really all we got to do is specify that uh, we've got to set asphalt and This is the big one. Uh, what we need is start again, start with gravel. Uh, asphalt. Concrete. Come over to here. Where do we, where's our warehouse? Steel. Bricks. Prefabs is going to have to be to the border. Um, boards we can pick up from here. Mech components that could be there. That's done both. Of course, prefabs for the moment we'll have to bring in from the border. Um, so we uh, Okay, it's not going to <laughs> okay I've, I've set everything oh no I haven't done the bus stop that's so I've done everything but I haven't um were to set the bus stop let the game run I thought I'd done the custom shed. Okay. Um, I'll take your word for it. Ah, I've put, I've clicked on make components for the border. Okay. We're just going to, ah, it's going to tell me that I'm going to need it, but we've got a solution for that. We can copy all the source buildings into the road crew. There's, let's test our construction capabilities. Now we've set up a construction office and resource shown. It's time to put them into the test. Build a new structure that requires at least 500 work days to complete. This will be a practical demonstration. Let's see the system in action. Okay, so, so we've got to build something. Uh, I think probably the easiest thing to build would be some form of residence, which we could put over here. Let me just see. Uh, this 500 work days. Uh, okay, we'll have to turn off. Yep, I know you're telling me that. Okay. 
Yeah, this is 1,300. Uh, I think we'll just tuck this in here. There, next to the bus stop. Actually, we can probably put it in about there. Great fun. Excellent work. While, re while handling construction in-house requires time, it's always more economical in the long run by managing your resources and labour and ensure that it's a brighter future for your republic. Okay, so... Oh, wow, we've actually finished it. <laughs> I think what I will do is... I might as well give these guys something to do. Um, yeah, they'll probably auto-detect it anyway. Yeah. Is that... Let that build. Yeah, it's been auto detected. So, right. So we've now got to a situation here. It says urban renaissance. What on earth is urban renaissance? Well, we can't. We can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. So, we're gonna have to do urban renaissance. Whether that actually is, it's probably gonna say, "Congratulations, I am Valeria Alexa. Today, I want you to emphasize a crucial aspect of progress: our uh, construction of our own resources, building with our our out." Building with our materials and labour not only saves money but also strengthens our self-sufficiency. By relying on our resources, we secure our financial independence. So. Comrades, I bring exciting news. We've embarking on a visionary project, the creation of an entirely new city quarter. This development will bring 750 new flats, new shops and cinema, and various other vital infrastructure to our republic. It is a significant stride towards our more prosperous future offering our citizens enhanced living and leisure opportunities. Important all construction must be completed through the construction offices. Okay. Flats newly constructed. Okay, so we got to... Uh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Build at least one bus stop or train station. Construct at least one pub. Well, I don't think we've actually built a pub question is where are we going to build it we could build it down here um i put this road in we could get rid of the church sorry about that um so we got to right so what we're going to need to do we're gonna have to we're gonna have to build something here uh so we can because we're going to need more workers out here for the oil refinery. So it makes sense that we can build stuff. Um, it says we're going to need a tank workforce for 750. We can keep the hospital and some of the stuff in here. So if I come to... Well, if, I, if we say we put in... We'll, we'll go kind of fairly big time. Uh, well, say we'll put in. Just built you there. We'll put you lot across like that. And we'll bring a road out like that. We'll put you to there. To there. question is can we cheat a little bit on the roads i think we'll push the road through there because we might get rid of this footpath i think uh. go here right i think what we'll do is get the road crew Working on these. So what we got here, we got. Let's just check. This is 750. So we're. Let me just ch check. That's what. Say 250. That's 300. That's 600. Um. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the road. No. 
Right, the next thing we want is what we got to do. Construct a shopping centre. Well, we could put the shopping... Put a small... Uh, what's this? We could put the shopping centre out there. We've got no sewage disposal here as well, so that's going to be a problem. Uh, we've got a shopping centre, cinema, or another cultural thing. I think what I'm going to do is we'll put the cinema, we'll tuck the cinema just behind the hospital like that. And then I'm going to run. Nick you to there. So we got cinema and connect that up there. Uh, I think we're gonna be a bit sneaky with respect to the pub. What well, we can because then we can get maximum benefit all across the kind of the overflow. So if I come into here uh indoor kind of alcohol what we'll do is we'll put a pub about there. I'm just going to build this road. Actually, we're going to use dollars, I think. We'll get you on the pub. Get that built. Um, so we've got to build a pub. Got a, another cultural building. We need at least one bus stop or train and three monuments. Uh, I think. And see if we can put in. We're going to need a few more buildings. So I'm just wondering if we come down from there to there. So I think I'll probably auto build the roads, to be honest, guys. Uh, we're going to put a road down to about here. Gonna auto build you. Game is just gonna be a bit sneaky and use dollars. We can spend about eight hundred thousand. Right. Um. We put in. And yeah, we got no water. We got sewage here, but no water. Probably put. But one there. I could shoehorn this in here. Or oh, we could put that in like that. And this is needs to put you there. Of course, because we got a construction office now, we get we're getting free building. Get you there. So we've got this in here. Now what we don't have won't have here is water, will we? So we're gonna need to put in So we're gonna have to put in an additional water supply. It's going to be a bit sneaky here. Um, if we we break the water pipe about there, and we put in a a water switch in there. have to move you a bit. No, it's cheating, but... <laughs> and that. And that. And that. That should get 
water into there. Just check. Yep. That means that what we can do then is just push the water supply over to here with a small substation. Just tuck you. Actually, we could probably put the water supply about there. Actually, you could put it there. Well, let's hook you. Make sure it's connected. Okay, we'll just. And of course, the other thing we're probably going to have to put in is a power supply, but that's okay. Just want to see is these road crews. Just going to speed to go up a bit. Right, we've got that built. We've got that built. Uh, now, this is obviously going to take a little while to get all done. Let's just go and see. We've got our first construction going on the road here. Uh, let me just check. Did I set up this uh, road construction crew to be... Uh, yep, deliver with vehicles. So that should work. Okay. And we've got to put monuments in. Now, this is going to take a little while to build. Uh, with the rope, the crew here. And of course, I could put the filter on. I think I'm going to let them pick up whatever they want. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to remove roads from there. I, I want you. Uh, well, do roads and footpaths. Remove that from here. You can you can build this road because you've already started, but. So we're going to get this done. We've got a lot to build through here. It's going to take a little while. So while that's going on, I'm going to go back to my original project over here because we're going to start sorting out the economy. And I'm thinking... I'm going to... Right, what I want to do here is I want to put in... A rail distribution office if I can find it I think if I put the rail distribution office about here this will give us act dual access out both ways so if I put this in no I think that's a little bit too close I'd, I'd like to have a bit of a run run more of a run out I think if we put you Back about there. Uh, and then we're just putting the signals here, but the mix. And then we'll put in a chain signal there, that one out. And we'll put you there. I could run a line down into here. And that could be a faster way out. Now let me just see. Probably is we would have to let me just work this out this signals way too far back let me just remove you and put you can I get you any closer um, no, that's wrong way around because you're yeah we've got two lines coming this way so we should be able to 
actually uh, made this mess this, mess this up so let's remove that um Got a line there you there put you there Took that in there. Okay, so we've now got this line here. Let me do the signals again. Got all this here is going to be quite a complicated junction, but you can come out that way. You can come that way. You can come that way. Right, we're just going to put the road connection in. Again, we'll just uh, use dollars. Perhaps we use dollars to build this as well. Now, my main concern with this is the fuel depot here because we had that problem where the train ran out all round here so this part so this part of me that says we need some kind of back curve here which will work but I think to begin with now as far as I know we don't need power supply to this do we um, so what we're going to do is set the route up um, we're going to We're going to unload at the border. And we're going to go to there to unload. And at the moment, we're going to go to there to unload as well. And just load at the... So we'll load and unload at the custom shed. Nope. You've got to load there, haven't you? Right. Um, I need to find the oil train now. I want to start with you because well, I want to start building up a little bit of a reserve in there. Where are you? Where is the oil train? you go to there right so you can pick up that from the custom shed and you can unload there how much steel have we got in here now we've got 123 tons so you can come set this to uh, we'll set it to 50% and then we'll do the necessary adjustment I think we're going to buy a box car here buy a mechanism buy a, a box car in here as well because that means I can then set the mechanical components and mechanical components electronics there so that's now set to fifty percent. That stops the train running backwards and forwards. And what I've got to do now is find the other train. Right. You go to there. Remove that.
so that's this is should stop the trains running backwards and forwards and all that my main concern is the the fuel situation but we'll just have to see how that goes right we're gonna have to let the oil train run to the station we've got crossovers here um, otherwise we won't get it into the rail distribution office you up I want to send you to there as well Is that gonna work right you're going to well we're gonna need to let, wait for you to get into the into the distribution office okay, you're gonna pick up oil you're gonna unload oil there and you're not gonna go until it's 50% which is no maybe we'll go a little bit lower Uh, 30% now now that's going to disrupt my kind of profit margin so what I want to do now is we want to find somewhere to put a distribution office in a small distribution office Build you. Okay, it says we've got, got a problem with loyalty. That's a possible cause for concern. Where's that? Okay. <laughs> we may have a population collapse here. Um, that's okay. If it collapses, it collapses. It's, uh, I think I shouldn't have actually put that town in. Right, back to here. What I want to do is jump. I want to buy a couple of open holes. Your job is going to be up from here. If this is over 50% full and take the bricks to there unload bricks what? got any space for bricks and then and what that means is we're get bricks to there and then where's my distribution office um, your job is going to load load bricks uh, from there and take them to the border not going to be much of a profit but things what we will would probably need is uh, an open hole carrot bricks To make sure that he's going after bricks um, I think we're gonna have to gonna have to set a capacity on that I don't want them running back picking up tiny amounts of bricks that should give us more of an export right how are we doing over here <laughs> these guys are doing quite well uh, the problem is we got a little bit of a problem uh, with uh, we could probably do with a few more dumpers actually 
Let me just get some more dumpers into here. Um, we only got three. We could probably do with a few more. So uh, go one, two, get two more in. Get that going. Right, start to look at our economy. Last month, we well, we spent a fortune, but that's okay. Now, the problem is now I'd like to build an oil refinery so that I can... How can you put it? Uh, so that I can get cut my fuel costs. Because I could bring food into here or to another warehouse here and then distribute the food to this over here. But I don't think it's really going to be justified. Uh, I, th I think I would like... I think I might increase, increase the auto purchase on food a bit, actually. Um, because this is getting a little bit busier. Um, so we got this going. I mean, we got boards here. We could make some money from exporting boards, but let me just see. I think we're just going to build the economy up. A little bit uh, so um, imports the tumin the tumin is going to be a cost fuel so we've got steel food bricks asphalt alcohol concrete gravel and boards now my instinct would be to bring in alcohol um, Drops and set up a refinery, but we need this workforce here first. So I must admit, it's good to be back actually building again, <laughs> even if it is a little bit on there. I think what I will do is uh, just give these a little bit of a nudge because these are going to take these are fiddly little bits, so we're just kind of get those done get this done and this done um, how's the range just make sure we're only operating at a thousand meters so push you up to two thousand and we'll do this we'll push this one to three okay we've now completed research uh, what research we completed right we've completed for tumin so the next thing we're going to need to do is research refinery i'm sure pretty sure it's the refinery we need to get done next so we need that done um i think i would like an asphalt footpath can't get off the top of there right we're gonna have to solve that by run run a footpath through here to there we can build that in fact i'm gonna split it to there I we'll build those big footpaths and then I'll do all the little connections going. So it looks like we've now made a start on our first. Uh, yeah, allow citizens to move in, but we don't want. One thing you do need to be a little bit careful with is I don't want. Um, no. Nope get citizens and switched off so that's good so we've got this here we're building this in here we can put this connect get this connection done Come um, this across here the footpath we sh we've got water the only thing we haven't got is power in fact i'm pretty sure certain that we're probably going to need power into this area so let me just think about power might as well Um, my instinct is no, we're going to need to cover this area 
building's on fire. Wow, okay, we got a fire. <laughs> Houston, we may have a problem. Because we don't have any fire stations out here. We've got no firewall fighters here. This is one of the problems. We're going to lose this. We'll just have to rebuild it. Um, yeah, building that power supply. Okay. It's going to be rebuild it. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is we've probably got quite a lot of workforce coming out here so I'm just going to slip in another fire station here where is it uh, I'm going to put another we get a small fire station we get a small fire station in about there just fund it with dollars and then we'll just get a couple of fire trucks oh citizens loyalty is too low yeah I think the problem out here is yeah, 33% because they've got no work. I need to give them a job. What can I do? I mean, could we get some farming going or some... I know what we can do. <laughs> um... I don't know if it's actually in the uh, what we're looking for distillery how much pollution does a distillery make nine tons per year but um, sorry guys but you're gonna have to live in a slightly polluted world um, that put a small warehouse out here maybe something a little bit bigger than that build this build this build this Limit the amount of crops and you know, what we're going to do is auto purchase crops 51 tons of crops. No power, that's all right, we can fix that. what's the power distribution here yeah so we got power all the way across there where's the substation just up there we can just sneak in a small substation out there Run you there, run you to there. Let's build this. Right. I 
know it's not 100% ethical, but where's where's my depot? It's right over. It's a long way away, but it's okay. This is just a, a little bit of opportunism. We're going to get covered hole. Go over to here. Up by the border. Um, in there, you can pick up outer hole, wait until loaded, and then you can just export it. One thing we will need is a gas station. <laughs> oh, no. okay, we're going to have to sneak it on this side here. Build that. What well, that was all this is going to do is just give us a little bit of income so that's the whole idea behind this it's not uh we could probably put a pub in here so, i mean if we could put a small pub in um that might we've got a lot of happiness we just got low loyalty but now they will have a job and I suppose we could give them a pub. Uh, this is loyalty is low yet, but we'll work on that now because we've got here. Yeah, we we got. Where's our secret police? Uh, let me just see. We got headquarters here. Um, do we have secret police here? Let me just check. Building. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. What's the average loyalty here? Probably push that up a little bit. Unemployment too high, yep. Yeah. We've got university here. You need to start passing on your education. Where's the school? It's the kindergarten, grocery store. Here's the school. Get you there. So what we got? So what we got now is a little bit of a chance to make some some profit. That might help turn our economy around a little bit. But it says we built. Oh, haha. <laughs> That's because we built this, isn't it? Okay, so we've built that's 157. That's so that's 300. That's oh, we're going to meet the, the property requirement for a little while. We're going to suspend construction on that one and then we'll just build in these. Right, we've got the footpath there. We're going to put that connection there, upgrade that, get that built. And then I think what we could probably do is just slip in mud roads to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. So save us a little bit of money. Um, this one just probably needs a shove. It doesn't really have the workforce. So we'll get the workforce going into here. Um, I can probably put a power supply in now because we've got that we got these built so we can sneak in a power supply uh, probably put the power supply about there push that we don't want to we're going to start building properly now 
Okay, I've run out of time on this video, and it's obviously this is going to take a little while. So what I'm going to do is play on for a little while, just to see if we can make some progress, because obviously we're not really doing the campaign now, or well, we are, but we we just need to catch up on a few bits and pieces. So this is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.